Good morning everybody. Today's video, I'm doing some foot trimming. I said I was gonna do it about a week ago and I've got two cow's feet that need doing. I've got one cow with a bad front left leg. She's just come into the parlor this morning and she's come lame. So I'm gonna guess it's a stone or something that's in her foot. Front left, very big cow. Second cow is a dry cow and on her back two feet, all she's got is they're a bit long. So all I'm gonna do is trim them down, make sure they're all right and make sure she's all right for when she calves and when she's milking. So if she needs any uh, medicines or anything doing, I'll get it done now while she's dry and not milking. So first, we'll get first cow in. You'll kind of see, see the system that I've got. We have a gate system like that. So they've got one way to go. It's nice and easy-ish like this. So you're just pushing them down one way and they can't turn their heads loads. We put a tractor here so they can't turn back on us. And then the other job is I get the gate here and then you've got just one channel where they can get in and they go into the foot crush. They go past the foot crush every day and it is a bit mucky, which actually helps because anything where it has a bit of muck, they kind of know it's normal. If this was clean as anything, anyone might know if you pushed a cattle into a cattle trailer that is really, really shiny and sometimes you don't want to go in. What I do, I put some sawdust down. Because this is mucky, it's great so they'll come in. Again, if they start slipping more in winter when it's wet, I'll put some sawdust down on the floor so they can get some traction and don't slip because they'll only be on three legs can't have one leg up. Right, we'll get the first cow. I'm going to get the one with the front, back front left. Back, the front left leg, lame first. And I'm thinking it's going to be a stove. Let's go find a cow. She was very lame on it this morning, but she's trying to be a little bit less lame. She's just holding it a little bit, and she's only just started. Um, you see that she's a very thick cow. I think she might be half Belgian blue. Um, but yeah, she's a big old girl. Easy enough. Like that, first chain round. Chain off. First chain round, so you've got him in like that. And then instead of trying to push them up, close, all I do it is. That is actually for a belly band um, to keep the belly up. But I just use it like this, less stress. What you do? Come on. There you go. That's what you need to do. sometimes harder to get the cow in than it is to do the actual cow's foot. But this way it's like a little bit less stress for the cow, hopefully. So we're in. Everyone will know when you're doing cow's feet, the front feet are the worst to do if you've not got a tipping crush. And for me, front feet are a pain. Um, so, first job is Second job. Trout. Easy. Like that. All you're gonna do is wipe So that was hard work. Front feet are really hard. So I needed Des who's doing the camera. He pulled up, I wrapped round, so I need two man. Sometimes you can do it on yourself. To start with when I'm foot trimming. I always wear gloves and I always have an apron on. I'll go grab an apron. You see, in these warm weather, I've just released a new polo 
Pemberton TP merch, farm life, polo, it's a vest. Um, good for times like this where it's really, really hot. So guys, if you want to check it out, it's on Pemberton Farm Top slash TP merch. Got to plug that in a little bit. Right, first job, whoops, which I'm not looking forward to. It's so hot today, I think it's about, it's early morning, but it's still going to be hot. What, 20 degrees, something like? Just shy of, I think, when I was Just in the car. It's only going to get warmer. Uh, you'll see that I've got my spectacles on top of my uh, hat, and I have an apron. Keep nice and clean. Don't really, like I said, don't really use gloves for a lot. Um, there's a few jobs that I do, and this is one of them. Just because the rattle from the grinder, you can kind of uh, it rattles on your hand quite a lot, and your hand starts to tingle. So gloves are pretty good, and it keeps it clean. If you're ever trying to do anything, if you're ever trying to put a block on. And blocks used for serious problems, but I don't think we have a block day today. Um, the, the, like the glue that you use kind of sticks to you sometimes. But right, first job is to tidy up the first job is to tidy up the foot on the back feet. It's the inner claws that normally the better claws, it's the outer claws that normally get the abscesses. On the front feet, it's normally the inner claw that gets the abscess, and the outer claw is normally better. Before I start, I have got a disclaimer. Hopefully. I, I'll remember to take a photo of it now that so I have done the Harvard, is it Harvard method? Or the Dutch, Dutch, Dutch method, I think it's called the Dutch method. Um, yeah, so I have done the Dutch method. I'm not just cracking on and giving it a go. Right. the grinder that's the that's the grinder piece that I've got um, uh, it's like the one below a proper foot trimmer for proper foot trimmer has like three things it kind of clips it away but I find that one is just just as the job and it works perfect for me so it doesn't grind too much so it's nice and steady yes I could go for a bigger one to be quicker but I could do more damage to the cow's hoof to me first glance looks pretty good you just seen that I kept checking the length so I keep bringing my hands around here it's four hoof four Four fingers length there. I'm pretty happy with that length. You see that the white line is there. There, that's that white line. Just there. I put a finger in between the, the claws because it can be, sometimes it can be just a bit of an abscess there. Uh, looks pretty clean to me. I don't know if you can just see it. It looks pretty clean. There's nothing, she's not flinching, flinching, flinching or anything. Um, all I'm going to do is now is dish out the, the middle bits and just clean it out with the knife now because doing it with a grinder I could cause some issues. Big thing is to not go too far. Uh, if you went too far you make them bleed and then you have to bandage it up. So I'll just clean it out and see what we can see. So you've got two different knives, one for the left and one for the right. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> it's good desert recording, yeah. So I've got... Uh, a left and a right knife. Yes, they could do a bit of a clean, but they're pretty sharp. Um, and they're just dishing it out, dishing out their insides there, and just making sure it's nice and clean and tidy. <laughs> he says sharp. Right. So, I can see nothing really wrong with this. Nice, what you'll see is abscesses. If you see something, it'll become black or it'll, it'll kind of draw you to something. I can't see anything wrong with this. You'll see that I've trimmed this side more than this side because we are looking to put the weight on the left side because the way the cow eats, it will put weight at its front feet because its head will go down and it'll push like that. So you want to take more off the right hand side than the left. So I couldn't find any issues with it. I've let a foot go, but let it go down. What I think it could be, could be a knee. You know, you're struggling for a knee to bend. She could have banged a knee maybe. I'll watch her for next week, see if she carries on being lame and that she doesn't go down. But she was a lot lamer than this morning than she was when she walked into here. So it could be something niggly with a knee maybe. But I'm gonna leave her. I'm happy with her feet. I don't wanna go too far. Like I say, if you go too far, you can do more damage than good. So guys, leave her and we'll go to the next one, which is two back feet, which is so much easier.
just give you like a bit of a heads up. Like I say, I'm not the best at foot trimming, but I, we do get the foot trimmer in probably every three to four months, maybe, maybe not even that. Um, and more in winter really, because I can't get, I get a bit behind for the amount of work that's on. We did 48 cows just before turnout and no cow needed a bandage or a block and they were 48 of my worst cows. So it must not be me, I'm doing a bad thing. The foot bath that we use, which is just next to the, um, next to the crush. So we do that, you might have seen in the video, we do that three times a week, uh, but they go through morning and night. So they actually go through six times, which I think benefits absolutely loads to me getting this foot crash, foot crush out all the time. We don't have a problem with dermy, really touch wood. Uh, the only issue we have is probably ulcers more than anything. Don't get too many raspberries. If anyone knows what a raspberry is, it's just like, um, it just looks like a raspberry on the foot and it's pretty painful to cow. But we don't get much of those either, which is great. Um, it's just ulcers and abscesses in the cow's feet. And then I get a little bit of foul. I don't really know why you get foul. If someone could put in the comment section below why you get fouled, that'd be pretty cool. Any tips of what you think I'm doing wrong? Yes, I probably should have done that cow's back feet as well. But she... I just didn't think about it. And I've got loads to do today. We're uh, going to test the new mule Dad's got. Uh, if you've seen that video, it's coming on today, which is Friday. So we're going to have test, through, test, test drive that. I'm going to go down the road. I've got some tanking to do. What else are we going to do today? Got loads of jobs. So, right. Lots of There we go. Last but not least, let's get the next one in. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be easier to get the next one in. But it will be very easy to get the cow's feet up because everyone loves doing back cow's feet. Yeah, it's going to go scrape up their beds in there. Put that straw away. Last cow, so I can tidy this away. So what you'll see is just the cow's feet is just a bit extended and the curling in a little bit and that is on left and right it's the same on that one so it's just curling in so what we're going to do is just trim it down cut them down a little bit and make her ready for the calf that she's going to do two green tapes at the bottom for me means dry cow but she's in the milking herd easy It's warm today. I'm sweating. But not in this nice vest. It's nice and cool and chill. It's these gloves my hands are sweating. And uh, it'd be nice if I had a button that would just electrically go like this. There we go. So when I say I want robots, Dad says, why have robots when you've got a Tomomatic? Uh, you'll see a lot of excess. They're all weak with bad jokes. <laughs> so you'll see here, straight up, I can see a lot of excess um, hoof there, yeah? And then I can see there's a stone in there as well. I feel that's a stone. So I might even be better. See how sharp my eyes are. Start with, just get rid of that. Save using the grinder. And I was alright about that, was that stone? Yeah. Sounds like it. I can't get it out, I'll get it out of the grinder. The, uh, I think the Dutch method, I think it's a Dutch method, I don't know why I keep calling it Harvard method. Um, Dutch method you doesn't just wish use... you went to Harvard Uni. Yes, pretty much. But, I didn't. <laughs> went to Royal Ag. Big up. Um, so they say don't use a grinder, but I use just for speed. And I don't have a knife sharpener for these. I just give it the foot trimmer when he comes in and he just kind of sharpens me because he's a very nice guy. So you see where it's a bit red and bruised here and I've just cut it off. So that is where she's been standing on it. All the weight's been going on that. Instead of all the weight going on all the hoop and you want it nice and level and smooth, I'll show you that in a bit. So all the weight's been going on that and it's just been bruising. It's just a bit sore to stand on. Uh, you can just see that. We'll clean her up and she'll look really tidy in two minutes, hopefully. Goggles on. 
Living the dream. What we're gonna do first is trim the edge down. I'm so hot. So you'll see that I've smoothed that away. Uh, I've done a little bit of job on that. There were loads of stones in there. Normally we don't do a lot with that because on the back feet, this in, in, inner claw, they put uh, the outer claw, they put the most weight on so it grows quicker. I think that's the way they just talk around. And um, so we don't take a lot on off this inner claw. And we take the most off the outer claw because you've seen that it overgrow there. We had a little bit of the bruising and it looks like a good foot. So all I'm going to do now is dish it out the sides. That will just stop him from rubbing there. And then you just see maybe, because I've touched it a bit dirty, there's a little bit there that indicates to me there's a little bit of red there. So that's kind of saying to me, stop going any further. She's not lame lame. I just think she's uncomfortable the way that she's standing. So all I'm going to do is use the knives to dish out. Her feet are hard. She's in the other field. She's over in that field over there somewhere. She can't be that lame if she's walked all the way down there already. <laughs> I think it's a knee. So what I've done is I've dished out now, cleaned up. Just cleaned. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Clean up, might just clean that a little bit. Over there. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Nice flat, what you do is, excuse me, lady. Check there, so. So if you come this side, come this side, a little tactic that she used to use. If there was clear daylight there, it would mean to trim up and down. I'm pretty happy with that. There's no clear daylight. So it would mean if there was daylight in the middle, it would mean trim a bit down from the top and trim a bit down from the bottom because you might just get it even. So what you want them to do is stand on the foot evenly so every foot is spread across the weight. That was why they had bruising because she was only stood standing on that little bit. Obviously a lot of pressure. Cows, 600, 700 kilos. It's on one way. Get this foot down, have a look at the next one and she can go back to the field. So when I have a vet student, I have a classic Tom Pemberton joke. So I said, you wind this up and I'll press the button. So I press this and they wind it up. Classic joke. Just a funny guy. Well, exactly the same problem with this foot. Bit him up there, bit him up there. You see that there. Um, I can also see there's a few stones in this side. That there, I want to trim it off with my knives. And then we'll have to grind them down. Doesn't look as bad to me, I don't think it is as long. Uh, might just be a millimetre, isn't it? But, doesn't look as bad. I think these knives are in shot. Do you the butchers will let me do it on there? No. Yeah, if you buy the butchers a new one straight away afterwards. <laughs> you don't do it on your dad's bench grinder. I don't like grinding them. It's a smooth blade. You ruin the blade. They don't, they don't last very long if you do it like that. You end up grinding it every, you end up doing it every time. I've done it before and then I've had to buy new knives after about four months. Do you reckon, who do you reckon, do you reckon the stones in this one? Should we just quick glance through now? Oh yeah. yeah. Plenty of them. Oh yeah, yeah baby. Oh look at that. Oh it's gone then. Oh. Sorry cameraman. Yeah you will be. <laughs> That's an extra 10% okay. you owe me. 10% of nothing's, nothing. Still nothing. Right, so the issue is why we're getting stones 
is you see that's like bold as in i mean bold as in like a bowl bold um so the stones will get in there with the muck and it'll start to seep in there so what, what, that's why you want it nice and flat they'll do the same in there so uh get the grinder back on and get this lady walking so much better Pretty happy with that. You can see just getting red there, so I don't want to go anymore. I think a foot looks a lot better. We will double check it. Better than the last one. Better than the last one. Was it light for the last one? A little bit. I'll tell you what, not a lot. But yeah, so it looks pretty good. Uh, even to me, I don't want to go anymore to there. Hopefully she'll be walking a lot better. Like I said, don't take a lot off the inner claws. We just do half of the claw, don't go up to here. And you do the full claw, the outside ones. And on the front, it's the other way around. So it's the outside you do, the outside you do half, and then the inside you do the full one. If I'm chatting about the same, right? So chatting about the same thing. I did the course probably about five years ago now. So guys, please do not be too critical of this video. Any tips would be gladly appreciated. I think we do a pretty good job. We try and do all of our lame cows and foot trimmer to just blitz any trimmings that need doing. Don't have loads to do at the moment, so this cow I just thought I'd get done today and show you. Still don't have a drone yet. It's under repair in Holland. Unbelievable how far it has to go. So guys, hopefully you like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. My Snapchat is Pemby6 and Instagram is Tom Penton underscore Farm Life. Really appreciate you watch the whole video and we will see you in the next one. See you in a bit. Dad's looking over because he's not in this video. He's wondering how he can make a guest appearance. <laughs> it's just a bit late to put the crush away for you. Job done. Gloves off. See you later.